If you like this video, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Today's session is going to be about implementing conditional access policies within Azure AD. We sometimes get the request to limit applications in Office 365 and Azure based on profile, uh, device compliance, or even network location. So we're going to take a simple one that uh, is pretty common to US companies that you have a tenant in Office 365 and you want to restrict login or sign in activities only to the United States. Um, this you know, reduces your attack vectors from foreign states. Uh, it kind of gives you a peace of mind that if a hacker is going to breach your Office 365, they are going to have to jump through an extra hoop to spoof their IP address. So let's get started. Uh, we want to jump into Azure Active Directory. So once we're in here, all of the conditional access will be under Active Directory Security Conditional Access. If you have any policies, they'll be listed here, including the baseline security policies. So we're going to start off by creating a new named location. Inside of here, you can see we already have the Boston office, the San Francisco office, um, but I'm going to make a new location. So uh, I'm going to say um, other countries. And I'm going to select from a list of countries. Um, in this case, I'm going to select all uh, and minus the United States. Uh, in this checkbox right here, if Azure is unable to determine the IP of uh, the origin of the IP address, it'll list it as unknown. So in this case, we are going to include unknown areas. Great. So now we have other countries. It's not trusted. And now we can use other countries as one of our conditions to our conditional access policies. So let's go ahead we'll go back to policies and create a new one. I always advise customers to specify a naming convention when it comes to policies. Uh, I like to use CA dash and then what is it trying to do? So this one is a block because we're going to block, not allow. Um, and then I'm going to say other country. And then I'll say at the end, all apps. So it's going to block all apps. Um, and you know, based on your naming convention, you can move this stuff around. But uh, just having a naming convention makes it easier to debug. Um, if, if people say, hey, I can't get into Office 365, uh, you can quickly look at their sign-in activity and see why it's getting blocked. So the next one, I'm going to go in and select all users. Azure Smart and is going to tell me, hey, don't lock yourself out. You've selected all users. That's including yourself. Um, you know, if you want to exclude yourself, go right in here. One of the best practices is to exclude a, um, a break glass account, some type of account that uh, is, is always going to have access regardless of the conditional access. And then put the appropriate alert on that account so that if anybody uses it to log in, all of your admins get notified. But in this case, I know what we're doing here. So I'm going to use all accounts. And then it's going to ask me, what applications do I want to do? I'm going to say all cloud applications. Um, I don't uh, want to go one by one and select the applications, but I could, right? I could select. Uh, Intune, Stream, Teams, and get, get to that granular level. But for this, we're going to make it simple. We're going to say all applications. Again, Azure is going to warn me that, hey, you're selecting everything, including the admin center. Now we're going to go to conditions. This is where we set our block. Uh, uh, we set the countries to block. So under the locations, we're going to configure this. And we're going to say um, for any location, we're going to say that the other countries, right? So all users accessing all applications from 
uh, the location, other countries, and then what type of access do we want? Because we're trying to block it, we're gonna select block. Now it's gonna warn us big red, like do not do this unless you're absolutely sure. Um, if we, if we, do, if we uh, you know, turn this on, uh, the, you know, we run the risk of locking ourselves out. But I do understand the limitations. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and click I understand. So at this point, uh, we can do report only. Uh, I can do a on, meaning I'm going to enable this policy right now. Uh, or I could do off. So let's go ahead. We're going to click on. And then let's go ahead and create this. So we've gone ahead, we've created this block all applications from other countries. And to demonstrate what it's going to look like for the end user, I have a, v a browser that's VPN and already. Uh, I'm coming out of Singapore. And so I'm going to try to log in, go to office.com. And I'm going to get this warn this error. You cannot access this right now. Um, so it does a good job of telling telling the user that I do not meet the criteria to access this. When I click on more details, I can see the request ID and the correlation ID, the IP address that I'm coming in from. So let's minimize this. As you can see, the conditional access policy blocked my access from a browser that was coming in from Singapore. And then let's look at that Active Directory account and look at the sign-ins. So the sign-ins are a little bit delayed depending on how many objects you have. Um, it'll take a minute or so to populate. And so now we see the failure. Let's go ahead, we'll click into it. If we look down to the status of this sign-in, you can see there's a failure. And what we'll do is we'll click the conditional access tab. And inside of here, you can see the result was a failure because of CA01 block all apps, other countries. So this pretty quick uh, conditional access policy we put into place. It doesn't protect all of your Office 365 environments, but um, you know it reduces your attack vector. So if anybody, a, a state-sponsored um, attack is going to happen, they're going to have to first spoof their IP addresses or VPN into US-based servers to get to your Office 365 environment. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and it'll notify you of future videos, and make sure to hit subscribe. If you have any other questions about Azure AD, reach out to us by visiting netwoven.com or sending an email to net info at netwoven.com.